In order to keep animals healthy and understand their medical needs, a producer may often need to collect a blood sample to send into the laboratory for testing. This video will show you how to draw a blood sample on small ruminants. Before you get started, there are a few things that you will need to obtain. A method of animal restraint, 20 gauge 1 inch vacutainer needles, a vacutainer needle holder, vacutainer blood tubes, alcohol, and cotton swabs or gauze. The needles, vacutainer holder, and vacutainer blood tubes can be obtained from your local veterinarian or animal supply company. The blood tubes can be different based on what type of testing that you will be doing for your small ruminant. Be sure to check what type of blood tube you will need for the laboratory procedure to be completed. After all the materials are gathered and you know what type of blood tubes you will be using, you are ready to collect your blood sample. Before restraining the animal, mark and label your blood tube with the animal's identification number and secure the vacutainer needle into the vacutainer needle holder. Have an assistant straddle the animal and place his or her knees behind the shoulders of the animal, turning the head at a 30 degree angle to the opposite side of collection for easy access to the vein. If collecting on sheep, the area will need to be sheared prior to restraint. To locate the vein, draw an imaginary line down the middle of the eye down the side of the neck. Apply firm pressure with the thumb and fingers in the jugular groove shown in this picture. The pressure will cause the vein to pop up and be easy to see. The needle holder should be guided into place with the right hand while the left hand holds off the vein. Try to aim for the center of the vein so you have a greater chance of placing the needle within the vein. Once the needle is in place, apply pressure so the vacutainer is pushed up onto the needle. If the needle is in the vein, the blood will start to fill the container immediately. If this does not happen, Gently move the needle so the tip comes outside of the vein wall and reinsert. Before removing the needle, be sure you remove your left hand, removing the pressure on the vein. Next, remove the vacutainer to prevent the loss of vacuum in the tube. Finally, remove the needle from the vein. After the needle has been removed from the skin, press your fingertip over the area for about 30 seconds where the needle was inserted. Hopefully this has given you a safe and easy way to collect blood on your small ruminants. Consulting a veterinarian or another producer who is experienced in drawing blood can help you learn this valuable management skill. This presentation was a production of the Animal Science Department at Purdue University.